is Eddie Newton. When he was three years old, his mother found a small lump under his eye, and doctors diagnosed the rarest form of an infamous genetic disorder. When they had the results, they showed my mom a picture of John Merrick, who was better known as the Elephant Man, and said that Ed may look like this. That is, if you live to be past eight. It's a mom's first nightmare. It really is. Eddie has neurofibromatosis, a genetic disorder of the nervous system. The particular gene responsible normally acts as a break to stop tumor cells growing and dividing uncontrollably. But in neurofibromatosis, the break doesn't work. And tumors can grow on nerves anywhere in the body. The tumors themselves are benign, but their presence can be deadly. In Eddie's case, the most dangerous tumors are in his skull. Neurofibromatosis has no cure. If Eddie had not had surgery, I do not think he would be alive today because the tumors were causing such massive compression on hearing and airway of his nose and so forth. I don't think he would have survived. Eddie's childhood memories are scarred by over 30 serious surgeries. Each time, the surgeon's scalpel removed life-threatening tumors. Well, one of my biggest surgeries I had, it was um, a seven and, half, seven and a half pound tumor that was removed from the side of my neck. And it was quite um, hard for me. I just can't imagine something like that growing. Can you imagine holding seven and a half pounds of ground beef? I came from my eight-year-old neck. I was eight years old. I lost my sense of taste and smell. Teeth pretty much got decayed or some of them cracked and fell out. I guess it's the life we gotta live. Oh, last night, I wish you... Eddie's condition was unknowingly inherited. His sister, brother, and mother have mild forms. But like most sufferers, they don't get the life-threatening tumors he does so their family condition had not been diagnosed. My dad had it, and he was in the Army. They told him it was horse bites. Now, at 36, his tumors have grown past the point where they can be removed. He's had recurrence over and over of the tumors. He's had multiple um, surgeries to reduce the size and the number of, of the neurofibromas, and they just regrow. They are so intrinsically wound up in the, the skull bones and in the facial muscles and around the eye and neck that he would not be able to survive if they were completely removed. With tumors growing in his skull, putting pressure on his brain, Eddie endures agonizing pain. The condition physically affects me. I get severe migraine headaches that can last anywhere from eight or six to eight weeks at a time. It feels like it's pretty much like death for me. It hurts. A lot of times, I'll just like lay in bed, curl up in a ball. Sometimes I'll cry because the pain's so great. The only thing worse than the sickening pain of the migraines is the thought that the next one could be his last. You know, and you hear, you hear stories of people with aneurysms there um, that will have a migraine and they'll lay down, go to sleep, and not wake up. That's something I quite think about almost all the time. But Eddie doesn't let the pain stop him. Incredibly, he uses his appearance to educate others. Today, he visits schools to talk to kids about self-esteem and courage. As you can see that my face may shock you guys, but I can assure you that I'm not an accident, that God did create me for a purpose. And my purpose is here to tell you my story. It's all part of his positive approach to a condition he has now learned to deal with. Doctors can't tell for sure how long Eddie's got to go. He's already lived many years longer than he was expected to. For now, every day's a bonus. The doctors, um, she's just saying that the guy will take me when he wants. And, um, and I agree with her. I'm just going to live, you know, day to day and just enjoy it as I can.